All right, Daryl Lawson Live coming to you from Southern California here. It's 4 o'clock on the button. This is Daryl Lawson Live on YouTube Live. This is Monday. This is June 19th, 2017, 4 o'clock California time, Pacific Standard Time. Oh, headlines. I just finished a uh, two shows, actually, two live shows on Facebook, uh, live on Facebook. Yeah, I talked about the real reason, the real reasoning behind the Trump hatred. <laughs> If you want to see those videos, go to my Facebook page, go to DarylLawson.com, click on my uh, links to, uh, or copy and paste into any browser, the information on my website, DarylLawson.com, on my Facebook pages. The real reasoning behind the Trump hatred. Ooh, went through about that, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half for sure. Linking uh, history, linking the articles, the news. It's, you have to have discernment. If you don't have discernment by the Holy Spirit, by the name of Jesus, you don't know what's going on. What? What? <laughs> you know, there's a scripture here, uh, Luke 12, 12. Ooh, it's my verse of the day. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you. Luke chapter 12 in the Bible. Luke 12, 12. Luke chapter 12, verse 12. For the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, same thing. For the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost shall teach you. In the same hour, what you ought to say, what you ought to think, what you ought to do. I'm telling you, why do you think fake news is so dumb? <laughs> they're, the fake news uh, is run by the New World Order. And they're not led by the Holy Spirit. They're led by lies and deceptions. The love of money is the root of all evil. They love it. Money and power and greed to population. Murder, wars and rumors of wars, pestilence. Earthquakes in diverse places. Oh, that's that's the heart of the New World Order. The heart of the New World Order is pain and suffering and fear. Oh, the sky is falling. Ooh. I was linking earlier, uh, just a moment ago, uh, the Hitler regime to the U.S. corporations. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, telling people, hey, listen, why did Prince Harry uh, dress up like a Nazi and go to a uh, party? And, you know, if you, if, you, if you peel back the onion, you, peel, you pull back the curtain, you find out that it's all connected. It's all connected. And when you figure out how it's connected, who's connected, the corporations, the banks, the governments, uh, uh, the religions, ooh, you can figure out why Trump is hated. Trump is hated because he's not part of the secret society. He's not paid uh, to be. He's not paid on the Vatican payroll. He's not on the Vatican payroll. <laughs> Love it. Cheers. Here in Southern California, it's really hot. I'm not complaining. It's a dry hot, so it's not like a humid hot. It's a nice dry hot. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour. In the same hour, the Holy Spirit. You need the Spirit of Truth. You need Jesus the Spirit. I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about people that call themselves Christians. I'm talking about Jesus, all right? 50% of the Christians in the last days won't be Christian. <laughs> Figure that one out. 50% of the Christians won't be Christians in the last days, yeah. So Jesus said, yeah. I keep on saying that, but that's what he said. The Holy Ghost shall teach you. That's what you need. You need the Holy Spirit when you when you look through the, the, the titles. For instance, I'm looking at the... Uh, the news, top of the news story, top of the morning to you, top of the news stories to you. Uh, the biggest one right here is tensions rise in Syria. You know why? Why is Syria even on the on the news cycle? Why is Syria being talked about? Why should there be tensions in Syria? What's wrong? Uh, is not Russia fighting ISIS in Syria? Yeah. Is not the U.S. supposed to fight ISIS in Syria? Yeah. So how can you have two superpowers? in Syria, fighting ISIS, and there, there's, there's tensions. How can ISIS be winning? How can there be tensions? You're both on the same team. Exactly. The fact of the matter is, is that Trump is not part of the secret societies. So he really wants to fight terror. Putin really wants to fight terror. Obama said he wanted to fight terror, but didn't. The Vatican runs the terrorism on the earth. So, the Vatican's agenda, uh-oh, we cannot have two superpowers, the USA and Russia, 
in Syria trying to stop our plans. We got to cause tensions. Tensions rise in Syria. Blah, 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 blah. It's all over. And I thought, how bull is this? How much bull? And of course, you got AP.org, Associated Press, run by the Vatican. I was explaining moments ago how the Vatican controls the corporations, the biggest corporations in the earth. They're the front companies. You know, the presidency of the U.S. is a corporation. It's just another corporation run by the Vatican, and they just change CEOs. The only problem is, is that this last CEO, Trump, was not their CEO. Sucker. So you have a billionaire coming against a Vatican corporation that happens to get in. They didn't see it coming, and now they're freaking out. That's why there's hatred against Trump. And so they're trying to figure out how can we raise tensions on the earth to stop these anti-New World Order people? How can we cause a conflict? How can we cause a war? How can we cause uh, 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 the New World Order agenda to go forward? Well, let's stir up things in Cuba. Oh, let's stir up things in North Korea. Oh, let's try to stir up things in Syria. Exactly. Now, the Bible says that there will be wars and rumors of wars in the end times which has always been, but more so, uh, especially when Jesus is about to return. The New World Order is panicking because they don't have their ducks in an order. Oh, no. Oh, no. If it wasn't for those meddling Christians like Scooby-Doo, <laughs> we would have got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling Christians. Not just Christians, born-again, spirit-filled, Jesus, Holy Spirit-obeying Christians. Bible believing and doing Christians. <laughs> a lot of people have the Bible, they just don't do it. <laughs> what good is having a sword and not using it? <laughs> Tensions rise in Syria as Russia and Iran send U.S. warnings. This is a total fake news piece right here from AP. Now, before the internet, AP, Reuters, you know, were the main sources of fake news by the Vatican. Everybody got their news. Oh, uh, coming over the wire, AP, Reuters. But now we can bypass crappy AP, right? So here's the fake news. And if you look at the headlines, <clears throat> here's some of the headlines. Russia warns U.S. if fighter jets are now potential. Russia warns U.S. its fighter jets are now potential target in Syria. That's another hit piece. That's another fake news. Tensions rise in Syria. ABC News as Russia, Iran send warnings to U.S. Another fake news. New York Times, Russia warns U.S. after downing of Syrian warplane. More fake news. What they do is they take uh, a situation in Syria and they twist it and manipulate it, trying to cause tensions to cause a regional and a global conflict, if they can get away with it, by these headlines. It's the same. You click the ch station, the Guardian, click, 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 same. ABC News, click, same. New York Times, same. What's going on here? Doesn't anybody have to serve on what's going on over here? White House says it retains right to self-defense in Syria. Reuters. Like there's Reuters. Rothschild. Vatican run. Click, 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 click. 57 minutes ago. Ooh, surprise, surprise. They're upset. ABC Net. Dot Australia. AU. Russia to target U.S. planes. Oh, Russia wants to down U.S. planes. That's bull. If you notice the uh, Putin interviews... Uh, that was on Showtime. It's probably re replaying now every hour or whatever on Showtime. Uh, cable TV <clears throat> or whatever they call that around the world. Uh, the interviews that Oliver Stone did with Putin on Showtime were amazing. Putin is laid back. He's not a warmonger. He wants to help not only the Russian but the nations. He wants to build up people's economies. He wants peace and security for the planet. That's not what these uh, headlines are saying. They're saying the opposite. Well, should we be surprised? What do you mean surprised? Well, think about it. Uh, what's been going on for the last, uh, how, how many weeks, months? Uh, Trump, Trump and Russia, Russia and Trump, Russia, Trump, Russia, Trump. <laughs> Trump, Russia. <laughs> Russia, Trump, Russia, Trump. <laughs> Trump, Russia, 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 Trump. It's, it's, it's like, I mean, seriously, wow, wow. And you can't investigate Hillary. Why? Why can't you? Why can't you investigate Hillary? 
Why can't you investigate Obama? Why can't you figure out what happened to the U.S. ambassador murdered in Libya? Why didn't you help him? Why are you sending guns to Mexico, to the cartels? Why are you sending guns, Obama? Why did you send guns to the, to the ISIS cartels? Same thing in the Middle East. Why, you know, why does Hillary have thousands upon thousands, about hundreds of thousands of emails on classified information? And you're going after what? You're going after Trump for what? What did he do? He, Trump's hardly even been behind the wheel yet. What a bunch of nut jobs. That's fake news. It's a distraction. And so is this Russia. A bull crap. Can I say bull crap? I just did. Yeah. Tensions rise in Syria. Oh, you hope they do. But if you look, if you, I, I, I'd recommend if you can't watch the whole four hour uh, documentary that Oliver Stone did on show, so, Showtime with the Putin interviews, just look at the last one, the fourth one, and s scroll through it. Look through it. Uh, they, the Vatican... New run the Vatican run New World Order doesn't like Putin because Putin's not part of the secret societies. Oh, surprise, surprise. The Vatican doesn't like Trump. The Vatican New World Order doesn't like Trump. Because Trump's not part of the secret societies. Even Newt Gingrich admitted that last year. Oh. Hi, Anthony. Hi, blessed, blessed one, 33. People in the chat room right here. Anthony. Faith in Jesus Christ, Bible believer in the house. Reagan, Teresa, Kenneth, Palmyra, Beth. Just jumping in the chat room right here. Wanted to say hi. I am doing live programs. People said, I want live shows on YouTube. So I said, okay. I usually do recorded ones. I used to do live ones. Now I do all on Facebook Live. Now I thought, well, I'll just jump in here and do... Uh, not too long, but, uh, uh, you know, live shows here on YouTube. Why not? Use the technology. Yeah. Washington's in the house. Just reading some of your comments. I love my girls in the house. Is that Angela in the chat room? Hi, Angela. Just saying howdy. Howdy ho. Howdy ho, neighbor. <laughs> All right. Beth. So... I don't believe these headlines. I do not believe these headlines. It's bull, 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 bull. They want conflict, and I'm not going to go for it. When I was watching the uh, interview there, the Putin interviews on Showtime, Putin's not crazy. Putin's not nuts. Putin actually is a lover of God and lover of humanity. Last time I checked, that was the golden rule. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. Dude. <laughs> Obama, Hillary... Uh, they love themselves, <laughs> love their neighbor, <laughs> and they didn't love God. <laughs> so there is so much to investigate, and yet, what, what did uh, Kellyanne Conway say today, right? I mean, she's all over the news, and one of the Trump advisors. <clears throat> Let me pull up. Kellyanne, oops, spell it right, Kellyanne Conway. Boom, she's in the news. She goes, this is a waste of time. Millions of dollars are being wasted. Kellyanne Conway, Trump's investigation is ironic. Of course it is. It, it's hypocritical. It's 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 a waste of time. Focusing too much on this. Yeah. You say today, Salon. Uh, they don't. The, the, the fake news doesn't like to quote Kellyanne Conway because she nails them in the face. Yeah. <laughs> she says she said it was a waste of money. Now, they're not going to, oh, they don't want to print that. I'm looking at some of the top headline news right here. And they don't want to say that. They don't want to give her any kind of room, right? Uh, they do say here on Salon, which, who reads Salon, uh, says Congress is focusing too much on this. True. Ironic. That's not exactly what she said. She said it a whole lot harder, but they don't want to print it. Let me just put it here. Kellyanne Conway says uh, investigation wasting millions. Let's see who. Let's see who's brave enough to pull that up. Oh, here it is. Kellyanne Conway, Russia probe wasting tens of millions. Well, that's okay. 
Washington Examiner had the guts to put that out. Newsmax. I like Newsmax. Kellyanne Conway. U.S. is wasting tens of millions on Russia Pro. They don't care. They don't care. How the hell put that up? Blasting News put that up. That's an interesting website. Well, because it's true. And I love how uh, this Kellyanne Conway, she's got to be a Christian. She's got to love Jesus because she seems to know what's going on. She seems to just go zoom, boom. I noticed that Jay Seculo, uh, another Christian, uh, is one of the legal uh, is 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 part of of the legal counsel team of of Trump. I've I've seen uh, Jay Seculo for years uh, on programs like uh, uh, is it CBN. I think it's Christian Broadcasting Network. Yeah, on the Pat Robertson uh, channel there. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and I love it. Uh, the New World Order hates Trump because Trump's born again. Trump's not part of the secret society. He's not perfect. He's a, he's a new Christian. And I'm talking about new religious person because Trump has been in religious circles for years. Gone to these Catholic, uh, uh, grade schools or what, military schools, whatever. Uh, but I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about Trump making the decision to follow Jesus and the Bible. If you look at Melania, man, she's praying the Lord's Prayer. So I say, hello. I mean, that's, that's, that's not what the New World Order wants. And it seems like these Christians are flooding into this Trump administration for uh, surrounding him. It seems like the bad ones are being weeded out and the good ones are coming in. And, uh, did I hear it today that what, Sean Spicer is being removed uh, basically from the uh, his job and just giving a, a, an overseeing job? That might be a nice way to say, you know, you're not doing a great job. Yeah, so Trump is kind of like the art of the deal maker. And so instead of just, you know, getting rid of a nice guy who really can't do the work, maybe just moving him to another position. Yeah, that's probably what's happening to Sean Spicer. Yeah, I haven't heard who's taking his spot as, you know, press secretary. But uh, why not uh, Huckabee's daughter? Yeah, baby. Anyways, back to the fake news on tension in Russia. Uh, or te tension rise in Syria with Russia. I think it's just the fake news. Uh, Russia's there. The U.S. is there. ISIS, Vatican, run ISIS is there. You're going to have tension. Russia on Monday threatened aircraft from the U.S.-led coalition in Syria-controlled airspace. Fake news. Suspended a hotline intended to avoid collisions and retaliation for U.S. military shooting down a Syrian war play. It's the same thing what happened in the Garden of Eden. Hath God said that you shall not eat the tree? You won't die. It's always a spin. Right? It's the same thing. The devil always comes to manipulate the truth. And this is no, this is no different. They want tensions. They want Russia and the U.S. not to have a good relationship. The best thing that can happen to the U.S., is that Trump and Putin get together and the relationship strengthened. Don't forget, Russia helped defeat Germany in two world wars. That's why if you go back and you look at the Showtime Putin interviews by Oliver Stone, uh, great history in that, la especially, well, through the whole thing, but especially the part four. You can probably watch it for free. Great historical uh, blessings that came from Russia helping the U.S. fight Germany in two world wars. World War One and World War II. Oh, yeah. Russia lost more people fighting the Nazis than any other country. The U.S. owes big debt, and the world owes big debt to Russia for helping defeat the Nazis, which were really run by the Vatican. And I won't get into there. Watch my, watch my video I just did on Facebook for an hour and a half, yeah. So when I see tensions rise in Syria's Russia, Iran send U.S. warnings, this is a manipulated story, all right? I wouldn't be surprised if this so-called uh, downing, this U.S. Uh, shooting down a plane, if it wasn't just run by ISIS, a hijacked Syrian plane. U.S. down Syrian plane. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, ISIS had control of that Syrian plane and do something stupid against the U.S. and trying to cause conflict. Something's not right. Something doesn't smell right in, this, in these articles. <laughs> right? <laughs> They want tension to rise. You know, now if they can't rise tension in North Korea, 
then they'll try Syria. If they can't try Syria, they'll try Cuba. If they can't try Cuba, they'll try somewhere else. And they'll go, it'll be repeating, repeating, repeating. If they can't get Trump uh, on uh, charges that uh, there is some kind of connection with Russia in this last election, that's why Hillary lost. Hillary lost because she was a doofus. Hillary lost because she's a loser. Hillary lost because the people hate Hillary. How, you know, but they, they don't want, no, they don't want to, they don't want to hear that. Fake news, the New World Order doesn't want to hear that, but that's the truth. <laughs> so they're going to bring it up again and again. Oh, you must have manipulated the election. Russia must have helped you. That's so ironic because the CIA and the FBI actually uh, attack Russia and their elections all the time. Yeah, go back and look at that. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So I think it's very hypocritical and demonic for this probe to say that if there's any kind of any 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 taste, any flavor of, of the other way around. Now, I think Putin's a good guy. He's no longer. Listen, Russia's not communist. Uh, I think Putin would make a better president than most uh, of the U.S. presidents in the last 146 years. <laughs> <laughs> Putin for U.S. president. He would have been a thousand light years better than Obama. Putin understands history. Putin understands the New World Order. Putin understands how to raise a country up from the ashes. Obama was, was uh, paid to screw this country. It's nice to see some of the BRIC nations that actually like their own countries for a change because the globalists pay people like CEOs over corporations, countries, uh, yeah, to screw the country. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Let me read this one from Fox News because uh, I don't like ABC a bunch of crap news. Yeah. Fox News is tolerable, but they're not perfect. You have to learn to chew and spit the bones up and have discernment in all of this. U.S. responds to Russian threat after shootdown of Syrian jet. We don't know much about the Syrian jet. U.S. pilots operating over Syria won't hesitate to defend themselves from Russian threats. <laughs> Russia's not the threat, doofus. It's ISIS. <laughs> right? A Pentagon spokesman. You notice they won't even say who the Pentagon spokesman, spokesman is? It's probably the devil. Oh, the Pentagon spokesman is the devil, but we can't, you know. Conditions of anonymity. It's like bull crap. Give us the name. No. A Pentagon spokesperson said today, run by the Vatican, in the latest escalation between the two superpowers since U.S. jet shot down a Syrian aircraft on Sunday. Aircraft. Could have been a drone. What was it? It could have been a hijacked uh, plane that ISIS was flying. I mean, who knows what it was? I don't think there's any tensions over there. Uh, between the two countries. I think it's a it's it's a fake news story trying to escalate things. Every country wants to protect their own troops, of course. Well, at least they should. We do not see conflict with any party in Syria other than ISIS. But we will not hesitate to defend ourselves or our partners if threatened. See, we do not see conflict with any party in Syria other than ISIS. This is from the American side, and this is from and also the Russians say the same thing. So there's really no story. There's no story between Trump and the Russians and obstruction of justice. There's no story there, but they're making a story out of it. It's a waste of time. There's no story here, but they have to make a story out of it because they'll have to, they got to have wars and rumors of wars. Rumors, I say. Fake news. I'll say fake news, Mr. McHugh. <laughs> Let me pull something up here. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull it up on my uh, computer. Matthew 24, 6 and Matthew, uh, no, Matthew, Matthew in the Bible, Matthew chapter 24, verse 6 and Mark 13, 7. And you shall hear of rumors, fake news, <laughs> wars and rumors of wars. Don't be troubled. Oh, I'm not going to be troubled. Are you? You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Pass the tea. Why did he say, Jesus said, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Fake news, fake news. <laughs> Obstruction of justice. Oh, the Russians did the election. Wars, <laughs> rumors of wars. See that you're not troubled. I think 24 6. I'm not going to get troubled over this because I know. As long as the born again, spirit filled people are here before the next rapture, we're fine. 
We're holding back the darkness in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Again, he said it twice. Mark 13, verse 7. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors, the fake news, be not troubled. Okay, I'm not going to be troubled. He says these things must needs be. Ah, well, they're all full of hot air. But the end is not yet. Listen, all these world war, world war one, world war two, is the world destroyed? No, it will not be destroyed. This world will not be destroyed. Even the great tribulation will not destroy this planet and obliterate it. No, Jesus will return to save it like he always does. I said, Jesus in the house. Jesus always saves this planet from destruction. In your face. The Bible says world without end. This world will not, be, will not end. There is not enough power in all of hell and the new world order put together that can stop the goodness of Jesus for this earth. Suckers, love it. Love it. We do not seek conflict with any party in Syria other than ISIS. Okay, and they're both focused on ISIS. But since ISIS is run by the New World Order, by the Vatican, the Jesuits, uh, and uh, the FBI and the CIA are always like dirty shirts around the planet operating. The FBI operates here, the CIA operates around the world. Okay, fine, but the FBI is in it as well. Because they're in, the FBI and the CIA are in on with the fake news. The fake news. That's why the FBI and the CIA are not, the, not, not Trump's friends. Or friend. The CIA and the FBI killed JFK. The CIA and the FBI bring about the terror. Most terrorism in the U.S. is brought about by the FBI and the CIA. So if you think the CIA and the FBI is going to be on the side of uh, Trump, it's not going to happen. The CIA will never be on the side of Trump. The FBI, there's parts of it maybe that are still sal sal salvageable, but I wouldn't hold my breath. James Cohen, the director of the FBI, former director, what a doofus, demon-possessed, evil, wicked Clintonite. The director, if the director is crazy, so what do you think the FBI is? Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joseph Dunford, doubled down on the rhetoric during a Monday speech at the National Press Club. I'm confident we still communicate between our operation centers and the Russian Federation Operation Center. So there you go. I'm confident that our forces have the capability to take care of themselves. So he's saying we are still communicating. And yet all the news is saying we're not communicating. We're not communicating. Oh, oh, oh conflict. Oh, World War III. Shut up. <laughs> Department of Defense spokesman, Major Adrian J.T. Ranking Galloway. Can you have a longer name? Anyways, said coalition aircraft will continue conducting operations throughout Syria. No big deal. Targeting ISIS forces, providing air support for coalition partners, forces on the ground. Blah, 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 blah. So why all the headline news like the sky is falling? Because it's rumors. Because it's fake news. They need to have conflict. They need to operate in fear. They need to bring fear. They need to act like, oh man, we need, they actually, they want a conflict. They want a regional or world war in order to bog Trump down, not to do his job. What better to hinder Trump than a world war? And what better between Russia, U.S. and China and add some more in there? Pick out pickles and mayo and, and, yeah, lettuce, all of that. Put it all on there. Earlier Monday, Russian officials threatened to treat U.S.-led coalition planes flying in Syria west of, Euphrates, west of the Euphrates River would be considered targets. I think this is all blown out of proportion. They're on the same team, dude. Why is the news reporting that this is like World War III? The news came one day after the first time in history a U.S. jet shot down a Syrian plane. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Well, Syria and Russia and the U.S. are on the same side, you bunch of doofuses. Has the Lord said you shall not touch the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? And the devil came to Jesus, you know, same thing, blah, 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 if you be the son of God. Shut up. You know, they're, they're number one, they didn't really know Jesus and his full intent on the planet. So they're trying to get information. The devil is trying to get information and the temptation of Jesus in the desert. If you be the son of God, hmm, let's see, trying to torment him, but also pretend like they have the information, but they really don't. If you be the son of God, then, uh, you know, change this these rocks into bread. Cast yourself off, off the temple. Since when are you the Holy Ghost, devil? Since when should I obey you, devil, you little freak? <laughs> Luke 12, 12 says the Holy Ghost shall teach you, not the devil. I don't listen to the devil. 
And I don't listen to fake news. I believe them now. On Sunday, it was a U.S. F-18 that shot a Super Hornet that shot down a Syrian Su-22. After that jet dropped bombs near U.S. partners for, uh, forces taking on ISIS. We don't know the whole story there. I don't even believe that's the whole, full story right there. People still believe that uh, that uh, some guys in a cave somewhere took down uh, the Twin Towers. <laughs> See, the United States and Russia, oh, there you go. You know, uh, Trump is supposed to meet with uh, Putin next month. Yeah, so sooner the better. Putin and Trump sitting in a tree talking about everything <laughs> with you and me. Yeah, United States and Russia, which has been providing air cover for serious President Bashar Assad. So they're, they're double speaking. This is snakes. This is not snake speech. This is lies and manipulation. United States and Russia have been providing air cover for serious President Assad. So Assad's not the bad guy, bad guy because Russia and Syria and the U.S. are on the same side against ISIS. And yet the headlines are saying the opposite. Lying little fake news twits. Having a standing agreement that should prevent in-air incidents, blah, 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 etc., etc. And of course, you're going to have uh, a spokesman for the Pentagon and all these things. Twisted and manipulate. Yeah. And they came against Jesus. You don't think they're going to come against Trump? We heard that he said, Jesus said he was going to destroy the temple and build it up in three days. Oh, oh Jesus is going to destroy the temple, the Jewish temple. Oh, no, I love the Jewish temple. Let me kiss the Jewish temple right now. Jesus said... He was talking about his body. Destroy this temple in three days. I'll raise it up. Yeah, so talk about dumb fake news trying to stir people up. <laughs> and so, uh, meanwhile, the U.S. backed opposition fighters said Assad's forces have been attacking their position in the northern province of Raqqa and warned that if such attacks continue, the fighters will take action. Oh, I don't even believe that statement. They're on the same team. Syria wants to help the U.S. Russia wants to help the U.S. And so this is bull. It's just somebody getting in here, doing something with the plane, and I don't believe the headlines. And like I said, Mark, uh, Matthew 24, 6 and Mark 13, 7. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Don't be troubled. Again, Mark 13, 7. When you shall hear of wars and rumors... Fake news, be not troubled. Now it makes sense, right? Because the fake news is lying all the time. Uh, I was reading an uh, article earlier on really what happened to, to bring the U.S. into the Vietnam War. Bull, bull. Can you say Gulf of Tonkin bull crap? Yeah, can you say what happened in World War II? The same thing. If you study Pearl Harbor, it was a false flag attack. The U.S. government wanted and allowed the Japanese and provoked the Japanese to bomb Pearl Harbor. Oh, could that happen? God bless America and apple pie. Well, since 1871, the U.S. presidents have been CEOs of the Vatican Corporation called Washington, D.C. So when you put the dots together, it's not the American people. It's the hijacked U.S. government that the Vatican, through the fallen angels, have, have taken over. Until 2016, when they lost... To Trump. Suckers. Now they have a hard time. Revelation 13 says, I saw one of the heads of the beast wounded to death. This is what's happening. Trump is fighting the beast on this part, uh, on this continent, and hurting them. Suckers. And so they got to try to stir up things with rumors. And Jesus said, be not troubled. Well, I'm going to agree with Jesus, my friend. Yeah. I'm not going to be troubled. Are you? No. Let's pray. Father, we just pray for Trump in the name of Jesus. We pray for the U.S. We pray for uh, Russia. Who prays for Russia? We should. We pray for Syria. Who prays for Syria? We pray. We pray for the nation's law. We pray that you would uh, remove the lies and deceptions from the people. Break the mind-blinding spirits. Let the people see through the fake news what's really going on. Jesus, you said not to be troubled. You said the Great Tribulation won't happen until the next rapture happens. Suckers love it. So help people not to be troubled, but to pray. Have faith. Walk by faith and not by sight in these last days. Help people understand what's really going on, Lord. Raise up the right news. Expose the fake news. Thank you, Father. Let your kingdom come and your will be done every day on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, by your spirit, amen. And let us all 
be listening and taught by the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what you ought to say and hear and do. That's what I'm going to listen to. All right, 35 minutes and 7 seconds. I want to do a short program here. Watch longer videos on my Facebook Live. But I am doing live three shows a day live. Daryl Lawson Live on Facebook Live, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And YouTube Live here at 4 every day, Monday through Friday. And even Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. That's all California time. See all my videos and more at DarylLawson.com. As of today, right now, I'll say it. I have 1,547 videos on YouTube channel that I've done personally, and I think nearly 400 now coming up on Facebook. Different videos, new videos, fresh videos as well as these ones. So go to DarylLawson.com, check that out for all that information and more. Every day, Monday through Friday and Sunday mornings. DarylLawson.com is the place to be. I'll see you tomorrow morning on Facebook Live Live and at 2 p.m. and at 4 p.m. on YouTube. DarylLawson.com. God bless you. I love you. Keep up the good work. Bye for now.